Hi everyone, it's Dawn, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I've heard a lot of reasons for canceling a cruise in the middle of a cruise. Lots of reasons, but I've never heard this one. First off, a couple quick stories. The first one is, let's talk about Royal Caribbean. Uh, a couple years ago, Royal Caribbean ended up selling Azamara Cruise Lines from their global fleet. So we had Royal Caribbean, we had Azamara, and we had Celebrity, all under the Royal Caribbean group. Well, Azamara was sold, but you could still earn points by sailing with Celebrity, by sailing with Azamara, by sailing with Royal Caribbean. You would bur earn you know, loyalty points and work your way up to those Diamond, Diamond Plus levels. Well, as of Wednesday, uh, if you're sailing on Azamara, you are no longer going to be able to earn points by sailing like on Celebrity or Royal Caribbean and vice versa. They're not going to transfer over the other direction. Also, if you, for instance, gained, say, uh, a thousand points with Azamara by sailing on Celebrity Cruise Lines without sailing on Azamara, you're going to lose all those points. You will have to have at least been on one cruise ship as of Wednesday. So if you're in that boat, you got to rush out and jump on a ship tomorrow <laughs> to get there. But yeah, it's we kind of suspected this was coming down the, the pipes and, and now it has. Azamara will have their own loyalty program and you will no longer earn points for Azamara on Royal Caribbean or Celebrity. If you have sailed on Azamara and you earn points on the other, you will get to keep your points. So that's that's something at least. And finally, another cruise line, the one I'm on right now, Norwegian Cruise Line, has also signed a contract with Starlink and will now be adding the internet, uh, Starlink as the internet on their ships. So that's Carnival, that's Royal, that's Celebrity, that's Princess, that's Holland, that's now R R Norwegian Cruise Line. Basically, everybody is going to Starlink. Now, once one made that change, they all pretty much had to follow suit because so many people work from home nowadays and so many people need to be in touch on the cruise ships that you need the faster internet, you need the reliable connectivity, and Starlink seems to be doing the job right now, up to 10 times faster than the internet has been, even on the fastest Wi-Fi in the cruise line. So I think it's a good thing. Um, and now Norwegian Cruise Line has signed their contract. No idea yet how long it will take or how quickly they will implement this, but I think still think it's, it's a good decision. Now, we have a cruise line that is, uh, yeah, telling passengers to go home in the middle of their cruise. But I'll, I'll tell you about that in a second. Let me just invite you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. You want to keep up to date with all things cruising, from what the heck is going on with your loyalty points, to cruise ships canceling in the middle of their cruise and why. And trust me, this one's a weird one. Uh, but we'll get into that in a second. It just, yeah, it doesn't cost anything, and it really, really, really does help the channel out. And I really do appreciate it. Okay. Well, a cruise ship is sailing around the Caribbean and was going to do a partial Panama Canal sailing as well. Well, it turns out the Panama Canal section has been closed. And you say, well, why, why, have they, why are they canceling that? And what's happening? Is it because they have ship issues, like the engine is broken down or something? No, engines are fine. Is there something going on in Panama? Nope, there's nothing going on in Panama. What's going on is the Morella Discovery 2 is having issues in their catering department, their food. During this week, passengers have been complaining that it seems like the cruise ship is running out of food. Now, the cruise line has come back and said, no, no, there's plenty of food on board and plenty of drinks on board. Everybody that's on that cruise right now is eating very well and, the, and there's no issues. But they have also canceled part of that next sailings. 
due to catering issues. And they are either putting people up in Jamaica until their scheduled flight home, or people had the choice where they would fly them home. What they're not guaranteeing is that you will be able to fly direct. You may have to fly and then take a coach back, which of course the cruise line is, is covering as well. Uh, unfortunately, the refund for the people in the middle of the cruise is uh, prorated. So if you sailed five out of 10 days, you're gonna get a five day refund plus a, uh, I think it's a 300 pound voucher. Well, I don't know how I agree with that one or not. It's, I guess you have sailed for five days, say, on a 10 day cruise, and it's the next five that are canceled. Uh, so you you still enjoyed the cruise for five days, but if there's any issue on board with food and the amount of food people could can get and were they skimping on food or anything like that, and that's the reason they're canceling the next cruise because there's supply issues or catering issues. Catering issues could be everything from we didn't get enough food brought to us from the supplier to some of our machines and ovens have broken down and we can't keep up with the demand during lunch. All kinds of things can be the reason that the, the catering issues are popping up. But quite a few passengers aren't happy. Uh, they Some of them say, you know what, this was a one-off. We were coming on this cruise as a bit of a bucket list, a celebration. We have no plans to sail back in this area again or on this cruise line again right now. This was just a cruise vacation and now half of it's gone and they want to give us just a voucher to get back on again in the future. So some people are are not particularly happy. Now, if you're a loyal, you know, Morella Discovery 2 passenger, then this is probably okay with you. However, it is the first time, the first time I've ever heard of a cruise canceling because of catering. That's like the hotel director coming on and said, yeah, we don't have anybody to change your sheets, so we're gonna have to cancel the cruise. It just seems a little bit odd. Uh, how you would sail for five days, where, you know, if you're stopping in ports, are you not allowed to buy more food on the other ports? If that's the case, but it's, they're trying to say that it has nothing to do with food and has everything to do with something else. Catering issues, they call it. Is it staff? Is there an outbreak of, you know, something, norovirus or, uh, you know, COVID with the cruise staff? And so they, they can't cook the food? They don't have enough people to work the oven? I don't know. It just seems very, very odd because <laughs> that's the only one I've ever heard of, canceling a cruise because of catering issues. I know I wouldn't be very happy on board. I mean, it's not one of the largest ships in the world. You think they could have solved this somehow other than sending people and flying them back home. Let me know what you guys think in the, in the comments down below. Is this the strangest reason you've ever heard they're running out of food or they can't make the food or something's going on with catering? It seems very, very vague, but I know uh, the passengers on board are not exactly thrilled with the decision so far. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.